Hi again and welcome to another episode of Teach Bee. Today we're going to have a look at a common problem when using Apple TV with some standard or older data projectors in the classroom. Here I have Apple TV, a wonderful device and for those of you out there you know how wonderful it is in terms of how you can use it to uh, obtain lots of resources for the classroom and also to share uh, the iPad screens, iPad 2 screens, um, wirelessly um, across to your data projector. So how do we connect it into a data projector that doesn't have a HDMI port? Okay, one, one way of doing it. If you have a, um, a, a computer shop uh, or electronic shop, such as JCAR, you can purchase one of these sort of devices. This converts HDMI signal to YUV signal, or a signal that will go into a standard uh, VGA data projector that doesn't have HDMI um, input. So this particular one is a Digitech um, AC1605. Um, okay, and notice it has some, I've got some RCA inputs there for audio. Um, it's got a VGA port there. It's also got a HDMI port on the other side here. Okay, so it sits between the Apple TV and the data projector. So it's, it is powered as well. Okay, so let's connect this up. Okay, so I've got some RCAs plugged into the audio out of the um, converter. And you could have RCAs on this end, but I believe I've got just got a normal jack on it. to the data projector. Or if you've got an amplifier, you might plug that directly in there. Okay, the Apple TV here. Okay, got Apple TV, and you know it has a HDMI port on the back, and a power lead. I'm going to connect that HDMI port to this HDMI port. Unfortunately, I have a HDMI lead which is super long, but for this, it doesn't really matter. So I'm going to connect the HDMI lead into the Apple TV and the other end of the HDMI lead into the converter here. Okay. So now the Apple TV is connected by HDMI um, lead to the converter. Now for video, so audio and video comes into this box from the Apple TV by HDMI. The audio then goes out through the audio leads but the video needs to get out and get to the data projector. Well, on the front of this converter box, you can see we have a standard VGA port, which I'll plug a VGA lead into, and then plug the other VGA uh, port into the standard input, VGA input on the data projector. Now, that's about it. When um, you connect to Apple TV, um, and now and turn your data projector on, um, your data projector, and then pick the, um, the relevant computer source, which is the standard one I've just plugged in there. Um, the video and audio will come from your Apple TV through the converter box into the data projector. It's that simple. See you next time on TeachBeat.